So we want to show you our Hooligan XL and the Hooligan trailer that we sell with it. We sell so many of these and we get so busy we haven't uh, took a chance to show you the new options that we have. We load these backwards on the trailer just so you can winch it up like this. And then you can put the, the strap here. Another probably the best way if you're going to really rip this up a bank or something is to strap this around here. This is probably our best recommendation if you're going to really pull this up hard would be like this. And then winch it up like that. But this is made just for the, the Hoolian trailer. It's got plastic fenders on it just so you don't nick up the side of your rubber. <clears throat> we put the G2 bolt buckles on there, which is really fast at the end of the day. Just go like that. Sure lube hub system. And then you'll see that we have boards going all the way across, so there's a lot of support on the trailer. You'll see that back better in just a second. So we'll pop this off the trailer and show you a few more things like the, the new upgraded oars that we have. We have the new laser cut rack. We have this awesome new, it's a self bail, no bail combo. We have these cutouts for a thirsty mate. So you can build this dude out like this. And then we have drain plugs in the front and back. Where if we have water in the boat, we can just pull this drain plug out. We have a heavier rubber floor back there so the drain plug doesn't stick out. You pull the drain plug out, water comes out. So it's the best of both worlds. You have a self-bailing and a non-bailing model. The, the problem with a self-bailer is running a motor on it, you always have water in the boat. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. It's just really an amazing option. Heavy duty aluminum frame, unconditional lifetime warranty on this. The rubber has a three year warranty, heavy duty bottom, sides, everything's covered and we're trying to make it as light as possible also. We got drain plugs here, drain plugs in the back, cup holders here, just to show everybody. This comes off just like this. So real quick on these temper seats, you see there's a, a plastic insert that, that we can push up and down here, and that clips on here, and you can adjust this frontwards and backwards. So all you do is these just slide in. You'll hear it clicks, right? And the way I do that is I just take my hand, I slide it right under here, and I push up, and it just releases. So I'm pushing that up, and that releases it, and you can move this forward or backwards, depending on what you got going. It's not usually that complicated. And then, once again, if you have water in the boat, you can have your thirsty mate down here. And this is typically a package we sell with this so you could punch you know get water out of the boat easily you got these storage bins you see how perfect they fit under there we got the harkin high-end salt water um, yeah this whole boat is salt water equipped but this is all salt water components made for the sailboat industry and the last thing we want to go over really quick is how these air pumps work we have a lot of questions um, about how these work and you know how many PSI you should blow it up to and everything. You know, this is a is not a really expensive, you know, pump. But what we recommend to do is literally, and these, when you put these in, they go in really hard in these new valves. You have to really kind of push it in and give it a good righty tighty. But we, you see how this is kind of like pushing back at me? That's when you know it's, it's good and taut. And having the floor nice and tight is good and it'll actually contract I should do this when it goes in the water because once you put it in the water you lose air so just food for thought you should get it in the water and then if you're really rowing some hard stuff the tighter the tunes are the better it's gonna row and this fits here nice and conveniently back here in our laser cut rack you can see um, with our boat they come standard with um, a motor mount it comes standard with a double pull system all of the anchor rope is in the frame nothing to get hung out there's just a little piece of rope out there 
Our competitors have you know the anchor rope out of the way um, or in the way. Comes with standard with this rod storage. We did forget our rods for some reason, but you put rods in here, set one here, two here, three here. It'll fit three nine foot fly rods. You can put spinning rods in there. You can put just about anything in that. So one, two, three rod storage in there. Cup holders for everybody. We usually put the low back rowing seat in here. We usually have a casting brace in the Hooligan XL in the rear. And then we have the casting brace with, with the, um, the hip you know, enclosures. We're also installing our, our drift boat style casting braces on these. We'll, we'll show you some pictures of that in this video, if not a video of it. And um, I'll row it around a little bit. We are using the, the, uh, the, the real size Orlocks now. We used to use the smaller ones. And we're doing these Sawyer light oars here, which have no bend in them. Uh, most of the smaller raft guys are using the like the smaller um, oars, and they have a little bit more of a flex, and they're just not quite as solid as what we have here. So we'll roll it around a little bit, and then we'll show you a couple other Hooligan XLs we got going with some custom options, and we'll go from there. Popping this guy off into the water here. Integrated handles for scratching the boat. We also we truck bed liner this frame too. You can see, I mean, it takes. I get some keys on me. I mean, nothing's perfect, but you can see that it's pretty tough. You know, you put you're putting your a motor on there. You're grabbing it. You're smashing it on stuff. This is our trailer with all the bunks here, so you can see it's, it's well supported. This thing's deep here. But you can see this is all well supported. We got tarp carpeted bunks here, so the boat's really well supported. It's got rear rollers and side rollers, so it'll grab really good. Um, you could double as a utility trailer. You could call us and we could put a few more boards on here, and you could you know load your ATV trailer. Or, you know, we could put a hinge in it and you could do a bunch of more stuff with it. But this is kind of our standard Hooligan XL package. The guide model with everything that you'd have. This would be the trailer and this would be the boat and the components that you'd get with the boat. So here's our Hooligan XL on the water. You can see we got the upgraded oar locks and oars. There's a bunch of different oar options when you go to the bigger oar locks. You can go any you know you can get crazy on higher end like the Sawyer Bandits are about as high end as you go the Pro Locks the edge rowing system you could you can go to that with um, the, the bigger oar locks that we have once again we have rod storage here we have the, the anchor that goes right through the system we it comes with a you know our boats come with a 25 pound anchor you can see the nice storage box here you got some nice tackle trays. I got my phone here. Your rods would go here. There's some fly patches here, so you know you don't like you don't lose anything when it when it when it comes down. The anchor system's super easy to use. You can see how easy it's going up. And this 25, I mean, we're at pretty heavy flows right now. It holds it just fine. And whether it's uh, push rowing or back rowing, it does a pretty good job usually. You can see this boat really back row great. Very responsive.
casting brights hold you in there really good. See the boat's very stable. These floats, these oars float really nice. Here's our Hooligan XL. This is a pretty custom one we've done. Um, what's really neat about this is this has double anchor systems. You'll see back here we have one with a chain on it. So if you wanted to slowly bounce chain, some people really like to do that, some people don't. Um, and then you could have a big anchor, our, 20, our regular 25 pound anchor there. So you can do both. It's got uh, adjustable foot brace in it. Here's the, the double anchor systems. I'll put the other 25 pound anchor that we ship with the boats. And you hear so much about um, self-bailing, non-self-bailing. What we really like about the drain plug model is you see we have cutouts here so you can, see how nice that is? We could just, it just rain. It's been raining every day here, but you see how easy that is to bilge out? And the boats perform so much better without 20 holes on the bottom. And what we have is we have a hole in the front and a hole in the back that has a thicker piece of rubber there that we can actually put a, like a drift boat style drain plug in. So it's basically the best of both worlds. And if you find yourself that you need a self bailing boat, we can still, you could even do it at home. You could cut you know, drain plugs in it. We wanted to show you, we have the real oar locks in all of our rafts now. We're kind of switching over to that. This is a thousand dollar set of Sawyer banded oars. So you could put the highest end oar in this now. You're not, you don't have to settle for the cheap, thin, you know, oars that, you know, with the little oar locks that we used to have. We're putting these big boys in there. We have a, a nice spacer there. That's all going to be standard in our guide package, which is all really nice stuff. Once again, we have the frame as a nice truck bed liner finish. Here's our foot brace. You can still fit stuff under this. And I think what's going to be really hot here that everybody's going to love because everybody wants to take a million people on the water. If you have kids, is you can do one or two seating here. Earlier in the video, you saw pictures of our Yeti model, which we have that loadout cooler as a rower's box. And you can sit a couple on a Yeti, but you can see how nice that is. That's really cool. Front and rear casting brace. Once again, the, the XL has this. It's real nice to get a hold of. No other, other raft companies have. This is rubber, not cloth like our old ones were cloth. Catches hooks, lines, everything. This is rubber, it doesn't catch anything. Real convenient. I can come grab it, drag it around really easy. All our boats have the drain plugs, you know, standard now. We have the nice rod storage here. Nice motor mount here. One more thing we're doing that I think is really neat. Once again, you can see these come right off. So if you want to put more stuff on here, Guys that aren't using motors, I've seen them put another box back here, they'll strap. And then this is all integrated just for your, we have an extra strap here now, and then we have this set up right in the tray. So this just fits perfectly in here because you almost kind of always have to have that in the boat because your, your air fluctuates so much. Just some cool new things that we're doing show you more about the Hooligan XL. Thanks.